Okay, welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3 Fest with his a huge mouthful. That's what she said. <laughs> My name is Michaela, and this is part two. Not sure if I said that already, but if I did, once again, here's part two. We're just listening and to the principal make a boring speech, because apparently in Japan, that's what principals do at the beginning of the year. They make speeches. Doing. Mine gets drunk and comes to school with a red nose. When applied to student life, anyway, it's completely boring, and you start turning out about right now, and you get in trouble. Psst. Hey, because people be talking. And he came to school with Yukari this morning, right? He's very nosy, very nosy, and I ain't nobody appreciate it. Least of all me. Hey, I have a question. I have Do an you answer. Know she has a boyfriend. I also have a text. Um, she does. It's me. What? I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. No, sir, I do not. Which is so why I said I don't do know. know oh my god, shut up, I leave me alone. Talking. From another class. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Bitch, it ain't even your problem, bro. That's Shh, what you get. Be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. <sighs> Heaven forbid. You hear lots of people talking, but I'm the only one that got in trouble. Oh, of course. Because that happens in real life to me, too. Everyone else can be talking. And I'll be the one that gets in trouble, because apparently my voice carries or something like that. I don't really know. Brett's nodding yes. He's being quiet so I can do commentary, but apparently my voice does carry. This guy's a bro. How's it going? Who are you? What do you want? Can't I ask both? Me? Yes, you! Who else would I be talking to? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. The thing about that, though, in the typing, the I looks like an L, so it looks like Junpei Lori, which makes me think of The Walking Dead. So every time I see him, I just go, Lori! Lori! <laughs> I know how tough it is being the new kid. Look Someone at that say... collar. <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Nope. And then there's hey, Yukari. It's Yukatan. <laughs> Sounds like the Yucatan Peninsula. Ha! Oh, geography references. At it again, huh? I swear oh. you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. They'll talk Did to anyone even if they don't listen, to be quite someone? honest. What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. See, I'm pretty sure he has the same voice actor as the guy who if you does say so. Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Pretty sure. Her anyway, her. Looks like we're I could be mistaken, forward. but I'm like 98% sure someone in one of these games is voiced by him. Must be fate. Yeah, baby. Fate? Right. She's smiling. She likes it. <laughs> Still, she laughed. She likes surprised. it even more. Yes, good. Um, hello. Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? I wish I could forget. By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. Heck yeah, we did. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> what are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? You say that now. Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Don't be worried, baby. Just let it happen. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about- This is why people you know are questioning Did it, you? okay, Yukari? Uh-huh. Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything See? about last night. This is right? why people think something's going on because you say things like that, and then Jinpei is like, <gasps> "Oh my god!" L last night. Uh huh. Wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea. Oh, he already has the wrong idea. See, I respond Listen. to the games a lot with what they say. I can't help it. Because people say things, I and I feel like I need to respond. Absolutely nothing between us. So even when I'm not recording, I do talk to myself like this. Jeez. Which is a little bit weird, I guess. But I know I'm not the only person that does it. Go. So it I makes me feel better about myself. Archery team. But you better not start any rumors. <sighs> Bitch, rumors already be started. I don't think Junpei's even smart enough to make up his own rumor. Uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. Who facts? She's so paranoid. See, this character is actually quite hey, the bro. It's your first day here and people are Except he looks better it. in his sprite like that. 
As opposed to in like not, the cutscenes, he just looks you to man. like a really skinny Guido. <laughs> this is gonna be basically, is the best way to describe it. Like the baseball hat doesn't look bad here, but for some reason in the cutscenes, he just looks like ass. And I don't know why. And everyone looks really tall. I mean, I appreciate the difference in the art, but the proportions make me question reality itself. Which I guess the purpose of this game is to make you do that. Once you see how the plotline goes. And them teachers be checking us out. Heck yeah. And that is Akihiko. His voice actor is the same person who does the voice of Gara in Naruto. So I often call him Gara. Except he's my favorite character in this game. Not gonna lie. There's a sign-up sheet on the counter. That is where you save! Thanks, help. Who said now. that? Let's just save the game. Save! Save. Just because I don't want to do all that intro stuff all over again. Come on, game. Come on, game. Good game. And you really can't do anything all that interesting as of right now. Because no interesting plot stuff has happened yet. Aside from, like, the random coffins and stuff that didn't seem to bother this guy. Because I imagine he spends a lot of time at cemeteries anyways. But... This is still the awkward intro thing. But that will be quite different. In due time. It kind of somewhat starts now a little bit. I'm going out for a bit. See, the thing about this, though, is that, um the bandage on his eye. He hasn't actually mm -hmm. done anything to hurt himself yet. And once he gets Didn't better, the newspaper? they don't even bother to get rid of it. They were like, we drew this once. Let's just leave it. There's a lot going on. Because that's way too much work. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. Apathy syndrome. I've See, seen that seems like not a bad thing lately. when you hear the word apathy. They say it's due to stress. But... It's not yeah, the right. It has to be them. So this is kind of like a precursor Otherwise, to the rest of the time. game. There's something, which I will not say you what, if you don't mind. know, that will is related okay to this apathy syndrome. The will be here for the next few days. Brouhaha. I can... Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. Uh, yeah, this is a good game. I am very excited to get past this intro part because I know everything already and I just want to get into... This isn't a game, Akihiko. The fun part. Actually, this is a game, Mitsuru. You are just not aware of it. You are being played, quite literally. Yep. Okay. So, this is our little calendar thing. The thing about this game is that it's in a set time. You don't have, like, endless amount of days in which to do things. It's, like, there's certain dates, which is related to the glowing circle in the corner that has a one beside it. That's a moon. Related to the... Moon. Lunar cycle. Lunar cycle. This is about some girl who got apathy syndrome. And it's quite creepy. Occasionally you will be stopped by the gate by people who are talking and for some reason you decide to just stand there creepily and listen. Like, not even bothering to hide. You just stop walking and just start listening. As well, you have random periods of having to answer questions in class. Half the time, I don't know them because we don't learn this stuff in Canadian culture. This is definitely more of a Japanese-oriented game, in case you couldn't tell from the name. Uh, yeah, so... I try to get things right, though, just because... Oh. No, he's gonna ask me for help. I should have been listening. Um... It was that one! I think. Oh, crap! Wrong! Damn it! See, that happens sometimes. Should have been listening, but I was talking. But anyways, yeah. It's a good way to increase charm if you answer a question right for a friend. And if you yourself just answer, then it's good for your academics. 
because I do most studying for this game as opposed to studying in real life. Because who studies in real life? Ah, oh, the strip mall is lively in the evening. That was a nice little interlude in between scenes there, because why not? Oh, he's back. Also talking about me like I'm so, not there. This is our new guest. You can tell he's sophisticated by how long Good his evening. hair is and how well groomed he looked. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Yay, chairman Ikutsuki. of the board. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't Ikutsuki. it? Ikutsuki. No. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Well, you must have a speech impediment Please, because I had no problem with that. Yeah, this whole few parts at the beginning are all going to be just confusion regarding your intro stuff. However, it may take a while longer Nothing before you receive the yet. proper room And I'm assignment. hoping I can get to that part Is there in this. anything you'd like to ask? What would I like to ask? No, oh, I'm good. I'm trying to speed this up as much then, as I can. I hope you have a successful school year. Oh, I will. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. You must be tired from all the excitement. All the excitement. You I went to, to school. Not that exciting. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. He's also the king of Please puns and he makes pun. me look bad, so <laughs> I don't quite like him for that reason, also other reasons which will be revealed at a later point in time. You'll get used to his lame jokes. No, I will not. I can assure you of that. Okay, is now when interesting stuff happen? I can't remember if it's tonight or tomorrow. I think it's tonight. Which is good, because that means I'll be able to get this part done and have something interesting happen within the first two parts. Might be tomorrow. Working hard? So, how's he doing? And yes, they are just creeping on me while I sleep. He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. That's <laughs> so creepy! Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Once again, this will all make well, sense once the interesting now. part happens. The dark hour is approaching. In fact, it might be tonight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it should be tonight. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Random anime cutscene. I don't know if he was smoking a cigarette or if that was something else, but uh, more asses. All of the asses. Yay, the dark hour. It's a scary time, but ain't nobody care. See, he notices, and he's completely freaked out. Whereas my character was just like, oh, well. Okay, then. That sucks. Carry on. And he's like, freaking out, which is the normal reaction one should have in this sort of situation. I'd say so anyways. And then Shiz goes down. Because, um... Yeah, well, that black goopy stuff will also make sense in a moment or two. Because that's what the shadows look like before you attack them and engage into a battle sequence with them. Which is very similar to He's still Final sleeping. Fantasy combat. Which I appreciate. The dark it. hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. The hidden hour, yes. During this know. time, an ordinary person transmogrifies. I love that word, but I've never been able to use it in conversation as of yet, which is extremely be. disappointing. As you can see, he's retained his human. It means form. I'm special, more or less. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark see, hour. See, he doesn't give any care, so he just the sleeps right through it. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Potential Although, for what? He must. If he Badassery? They would have preyed on him by now. <laughs> They're preying on me right now, so either way, I am being Scary. preyed on. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Few more days? Because why not? Yes, sir. So really, it wasn't a mistake that I ended up in the storm. Kind of bad though, spying on him like this. Finally, logic. Good job, Yukari. Good job is you. Okay. And unfortunately, we are just about at the 15 minute mark yet again. Right when interesting stuff is going to go down. After this little whoop-de-doo in here. 
So once this thing with the velvet room, as it's called, Welcome to the velvet room, velvet room my dear yes, young man. ends, I'm going to stop this part, and I will pick up next time from this exact same part, sitting in this fancy room with a guy with a big nose. My name is Igor. A really big nose. I am nose. delighted to make your acquaintance. Okay, so that is it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.